this is another episode of Top 10. That was a little random anyway. This week, as you can see in the title, with tonight being TLC, make sure you check that out. Today, we're going to be counting down top 10 matches that could have ended, that could have changed history if they had ended differently. Now, quite basically, we thought about all the possibilities that could, could have came from the match should the uh, opposition won the match as opposed to the actual winner. And agree or disagree with the list, this is our opinion. We'd like to quickly bring up an honorable mention. Since we do not know the winner of tonight's bout between Eddie versus Kids, we put that as an honorable mention. Because either way that that match goes, it is going to make an impact on history one way or another. Without that, let's go to number 10. Coming in at number 10 is Olgi Nigel versus Sport at the Road to WrestleMania pay-per-view to unify the Cruiserweight and European Championship. After the two were to set to bout off, everything looked like Sport was going to win and we were going to be with a European Championship. But rather, Olgi Nigel would shock the world and defeat the Royal Rumble victor and unify it and make a Cruiserweight Championship. The way we think this could have altered history, rather than Cruiserweight being, you know, the long-time title that was defended weekly for months and months and months, it would have rather been European. Although a very minuscule change, that still could have impacted the title, could have impacted the significance, and we didn't have many other ideas for top 10, so. Coming in at number 9 is Team Cena versus Team Corp at Survivor Series. Now, with Team Corp walking away with the victory that night over Team Cena, it was reverted the decision to force Team Cena to pick one or have one member enter first in the Royal Rumble. Now, if Team Cena had won, that could have very well been different and not reverted as Team Cena held a grudge against Team Corp. We put this so much lower on the list, rather, because I believe one Corp member in particular, no spoil spoilers, is intending to go first in the Rumble as is. Coming in at number 8 is Warriors versus Brookids. With Warriors having such a famous name to it and such an infamous sound to the very name being mentioned, if the Warriors had initially lost to Brookids, they would not be the world the longest reigning tag team champions. They would never be able to say that they beat one of the arguably best tag teams in history, Brookids. And the Warriors may not be considered as dominant as they are today. And that very well shaped with just that win. Coming in at number seven, this one is very open, and we don't have any specifics to who could have won it. But number seven is the Royal Rumble match. Had anybody else but Sport won that, who knows how much that could have changed. Perhaps they won at WrestleMania for their world title. Perhaps they sold off their main event at WrestleMania. Who knows? It's all in the beholder and all of who wins the Rumble. And make sure that next month's pay-per-view is the Royal Rumble, and you watch that on the RCW Network. Because we could see a completely new history with a brand new Royal Rumble victor. Coming in at number 6 is the King of the Ring tournament. Now there were 8 men in that tournament that included Mattis, Olki, Ethan Baby, Even and Brooke, Ultimate, and Eddie. Now while a lot of favoritism was on Brooke, Eddie, and Mattis to win, nobody was predicted to win from the one matchup that actually was set to happen and never ended up happening. Ethan versus Baby. Now Ethan shocked the world... While he was good, but nobody did see it coming, him winning the King of the Ring shocked the world and won the world title. But say, ha and, and had Eddie won it, if Eddie had won the world title, that would have made SummerSlam's match completely, completely different. It would have made him a three-time world champion, and he very, very possibly could never have targeted the RCW title. Perhaps Brooke had won her world title even earlier than she did initially, or Mattis had continued to get even a bigger push than he already had. So many different possibilities, eight different Seven different possibilities. Coming in at number five is one of the two SummerSlam main events. And this one was for the World Heavyweight Championship. It was Ethan versus Beast. Ethan, the King of the Ring victor. The World Heavyweight Champion, former RCW, former Road WWE, former IC, US Tag Team two times over. He was looking like he had nothing to lose but needed to prove even more as the World Heavyweight Champion. But Beast had everything that he needed to state. He was a former two-time United States Champion, former Tag Team Champion, but had never captured World Championship Gold in RCW. Beast, Beast did capture his dream and win at SummerSlam. But what, can you, what would have happened 
had Ethan stopped Beast from ever capturing his world title at that pay-per-view? Would he have had a rematch at Night of Champions? Would he have had to keep fighting to this very day to earn his first world title? Who knows? That could have ended very differently. Coming in at number four is Kendall. 1056 versus Kids. Now, there were several, literally over a dozen matches opponents that Kids Rock 4 could have lost his title to. But of, of them all, the history could have been changed, in my opinion, with the exclusion of the one that's happening tonight, could have been changed the most by Kendall 1056. As one-fourth, dash one-third at the time, of the Warriors, he could have pulled over the RCW Championship and the longest reign in history to another accolade of the Warriors. Paired that up with Flacco's World Heavyweight Championship and Y3's possible future World Championship that we don't even know when could happen, and the Warriors could last forever and be unstoppable. But kids being able to shut out that momentum and keep Corpse dominance paired up at very least with Warriors, who knows, that could have ended very differently at Night of Champions. Coming in at number three. Now this is technically two matches, but we're all we're gonna qualify this as one time altering thing it is eddie and flame 321 and ness versus kids now with ness and eddie being dx members and king winning the road wwe championship off of brook three dx members had ness beaten kids and eddie defended his world heavyweight championship degeneration x would have held all three world titles and actually i do believe to be the first team to ever ever do that, making DX very possible to exist this day in its for in its one and only f form. That would have also made Ness not a not needed to go after the Money in the Bank briefcase. Eddie to never have gotten the title handed over and face Ranger. And who knows? There's just so many different ways. That's why those two are number three. Coming in at number two. Now I know previously on this list there were two other opportunities at world titles but this one has the highest chance of anything to change history especially when two people came very close to winning it now we're not counting the rcw money in the bank briefcase because that was sold off and who knows it could have happened the same way to just about anybody but we're counting the world's heavyweight money in the bank briefcase had someone other than ness Say all the other competitors that were in it, if any one of them had won it, it would have taken the exact same little amount of effort to cash in against Ranger. Also, who knows, maybe if it wasn't Ness, it could have been someone to defeat Ethan and shut down his momentum from the King of the Ring, thus never making SummerSlam's match Dean versus, B or Dean versus Ethan never happen. So many other things branched off, could have branched off... Hell, we could have even had the same World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe it wouldn't have been cashed in directly on Ranger only a few days later. Infinite possibilities branch off from this. But that's the money in the bank coming in at number two. Coming in at number one. Please do your best to understand this. It's Eddie versus Ness. Now the hype, the buildup, the today's whole hype over the match is definitely with reason. And with good reason too. Had Eddie not defeated Ness that night, and maybe not even defeated him in the same way he did, with very little health and so much fan support riding around it, had Ness actually captured the World Heavyweight Championship, the match at Extreme Rules would never have happened against Kids Rock 4. Eddie could have targeted the RCW Championship, could have got his rematch clause, could have targeted Road WWE. When his World Heavyweight title ended, he could have gone for Brooks. That would have made Brooks the second longest reigning. Eddie as a superstar himself, may never, ever have existed as big as he was today if he didn't have the second longest world heavyweight reign and won in one of the biggest upsets at WrestleMania. Ness would be bigger than he ever was, and so, so many different possibilities that could have even affected today's very date, December 21st, 2014. Who knows? Thank you, RCW. I hope you realize now how... How current the storyline is and everything and how everything could be different with just one win. So many of these matches could very well have never existed if it wasn't for certain wins and other wins and those wins alone branched off. We invite you to just take a moment, take a match that you think could have changed history and try to follow up all the possibilities that could have came up. I guarantee you it will take you take you a good half an hour to find every single possibility that could have came from it and then branch off from there to today's very date. 
Anyway, after some deep ass thinking, make sure you check out some RCW top tens. They're a little more light noted. They come out every single weekend on Sunday and two every pay-per-view weekend. Yes, that's right. This this weekend, make sure you check out TLC tonight at six o'clock p.m. EST. If you can, if you can, oh god, voice crack. If you can come, make sure you can. If not, it should be uploaded not too long after. And there's weekly content Sunday through Saturday, all week long on the RCW Network. This has been Kids Rock Four doing your top tens, and I approve this message. No.